of this talking about this math. Look, I finally got these books. I just want to talk about these for just a second. First of all, well, probably more than a second. I have two different books. I have a set for fifth grade, and this is a set, uh, just the workbook for third grade. The first thing I realized, and it took me forever to figure this out, is this book that the video is about, uh, the Inconvenient Truth video is about, is actually a reference book. It's not the book they use. The students don't have this book. This is just a reference book. And what I mean by that is, you don't go through this book page by page and do this and do that. That's, that's not what this is. This is a reference book. You turn to it for a reference. Um, which is good news, because once I got this book, I was impressed by the basic idea of it, and I'll talk about why I was impressed by the basic idea of it, but I was also just shocked by how fast it goes. It's just super lightning fast. Anybody who complains that this is dumbing down education doesn't either know this book or understand education. This book's way too fast. But that's because it's a reference book. You don't use a reference book uh, to teach. It's a reference book that has things in it. Now, the first thing I liked about this book it's on page two. It's the first thing they do. And uh, what it does here is it starts off by talking about uses of numbers. And it talks about numbers for counting. This is for fifth grade, I believe, just in case you don't know that. Numbers for counting, numbers are used for measuring, numbers are used as a reference system, numbers compare amounts, and as identification and codes, like ISPN numbers and so on. And then it talks about the types of numbers. And what I really like about this here is the idea is math should make sense. That's the idea. You should master these skills, but at the same time you should understand what they're for. Uh, otherwise, they're just useless. It's a bunch of useless skills that you probably can't actually get because you don't understand what it's for. And maybe you can memorize 20 things, but you're not going to memorize 500 things over 10 years of education that make no sense to you and that are completely useless. One of the things I'm continually shocked by is the number of students in college who don't believe in negative numbers. And it's funny that no one's really ever asked them that question. Do you believe in negative numbers? It doesn't come up because nobody talks about it, but a lot of students don't believe in negative numbers. And this book gets right at it immediately. Page two. Numbers are used for counting. And then it talks about negative numbers on the second page, and it talks about how negative numbers are not used for counting. You can't count negative fingers. That's where students get caught up. And then they have a hard time memorizing all the formulas for if you do minus seven, minus three, is that minus ten or minus four? All that stuff where they get all confused, and many people get confused with the negatives adding and subtracting or multiplying. But why wouldn't you if you didn't believe in them, if they made no sense to you? This thing goes straight to it, talks about counting and measuring, and how negative numbers are not appropriate for those. But as a reference system, it talks about temperature, negative numbers make sense. Do you, what neg do you know what negative two degrees feels like? Well, then it's real. It does mean something. But negative two people doesn't mean anything. Now, you can talk about reference, in di not in distance, but in displacement, in measurement. You could talk about negative five feet, which would mean five feet in the opposite direction, whatever. But again, that's not distance, that's not counting. The students who don't believe in negative numbers have a valid point, which no one has ever bothered to talk to them about. But this book does. Do the teachers who teach this? I don't know. It's in the book. I can't speak for what the teachers do. I suspect that, as I've said before in other videos, it doesn't matter what pedagogy we do if the people teaching it don't believe in it or understand it. Uh, so, that's the basic idea. I want to show you one more thing about this book because it's a part of MJ's video. Uh, and that is the mysterious, what in the world is the American tour doing in a book on math? And if you think math is a bunch of formulas to multiply, uh, to memorize, like multiplication rules, and all you do is practice those skills and you never apply them anywhere, then you can understand why somebody would say, what's this doing here? But if you understand math as something useful, is to be applied, then this is exactly what we should have. Now this American tour doesn't tell you about how to, oh well, gosh, I don't know what wouldn't be mathematical, come to think of it, but what's in here is math. We've got maps, math. We've got this, what is this one? Estimated number of Native Americans in square miles of 1600, and then you have these maps where they're colored, and then you're supposed to understand this. This is math. This is what happens in the world. This is what you see in magazines and newspapers all over the place. This is where we use math. Total immigration by country. These are graphs. This is what we need students to understand. It doesn't matter if it's in science or in political science or in sociology. This is where you see math in use everywhere. Graphs. There's more to it than that. Now, again, here's population measures this way. Again, stuff you see in books all over the place and in newspapers and in magazines and in your life. There's a whole section, there's a good one somewhere talking about, oh, actually, it's in the workbook. I'll get to the workbook and talk about the problem you actually use. 
Uh, it's to, important to memorize, again, this is a reference book. There aren't assignments in here. You turn to these sections on maps and so on, and here's, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. How do you get from Atlanta to Minneapolis? We've all seen these mileage charts. This is how you understand this. When you're fifth grade, to understand the basic ideas, this is how you can talk about graphing and also about addition and multiplication in a context. You want to give a context. This is a reference book. So you're in some section, you're talking about multiplication, talking about division of fractions, you turn to an application.